shopping centers reopened today for the first time since March. Smaller stores jumped at the opportunity to welcome back customers, but many of the big chain stores remain closed. Jen Boniza has a look at the first day back. It was a good day for shoppers eager to get in some retail therapy at local malls. Store managers are happy to welcome customers back. And although some things have changed, customers say it's nothing that they can't get used to. Come see us, we're open. A big day for retailers. After nearly two months, malls around Oahu were given the green light to reopen. Opening up right now is like... It's a big thing. We're glad to be open today, though. So it's a big step in the right direction. Of Shoppers of every age took advantage of it. Just to give people something to do, and you can see that people wanted to do this because there's so many people here. Definitely, yeah. It's really nice being out here and be able to walk around. Love the Alamoana Mall. It's very nice. It's definitely nicer when all the stores are open. That, according to customers, was the only downside. Only 100 out of the 350 stores at Ala Moana were open. Many national chains remained dark. And at food courts, though some vendors were ready for business, seating areas were closed for safety reasons. At Pearl Ridge Center, customers were lined up outside waiting to get in. We definitely um, didn't expect as far as the foot traffic to be so great. A lot of customers have been coming back. We've seen new customers as well as our favorite customers as we call them. Um, we've even had a line this morning out the door, so a small little line. So we're definitely happy to be open again. Windward Mall looked slightly quieter with 30% of its shops reopening Friday. I think uh, tenants are really preparing for it and uh, that's the reason why some would uh, opted actually to um, have reduced hours and get the feel of it. The malls and retailers were required to step up safety measures in order to open. All customers and employees are required to wear protective masks. Social distancing signs and markings were put in, with some stores installing plexiglass shields by cashiers. Hand sanitizing stations are a must. Railings and escalators are disinfected regularly. And the number of customers inside stores is limited. We have somebody outside monitoring how much people is coming in per square footage. It's okay. It's different, but it'll get better. Some malls are operating under reduced hours, and some retailers inside malls are also working under shortened hours. Log on to K22.com for more information. Jen Boniza, K22 News, working for Hawaii.